Welcome back to Cop Talk. My name is Scott, and today we're taking an inside look at the new Milwaukee M18 Gen 3 half-inch hammer drill driver. First announced at NPS 18, this third-generation hammer drill driver claims to be the strongest drill on the market, utilizing Milwaukee's Power State brushless motor and offering 1,200 pounds of torque at 2,000 RPMs. But with the Gen 2 model already offering those same exact specs, we were curious as to how much of an improvement this new model truly is over the previous one. So we had compared them head-to-head -head in our shop by putting them in the hands of Evan, a construction worker with 10 years experience in residential and commercial remodeling, to see if he could tell a difference in performance. Then we opened them up with Chris at Ohio Power Tool to take a look at the differences in their engineering and design, giving you an inside look. Let's see what we found. We equipped both Gen 2 and Gen 3 hammer drills with the same 5 amp hour battery that they ship with, then used two different Milwaukee drill bits to test their performance. First, a Milwaukee 2 and 9 16 inch self feed bit, then a 3 quarter inch speed feed wood bit, drilling both through a 4x4 wood fence post. So, first up, Evan drilled the 2 and 9 16 inch holes four times using the Gen 2 hammer drill. No problem for the Gen 2 model as Evan averaged 13.2 seconds per hole. Then he drilled the same four holes using the Gen 3 hammer drill. The Gen 3 averaged only 11.6 seconds per hole, over one and a half seconds faster than the Gen 2. Okay, so better, but not by a landslide with only a 12% improvement in performance in this application. Overall, Evan felt that there wasn't a significant increase in power though the drill operated and felt smoother. He also noted that the gear settings were much easier to work with on the Gen 3. Next, we used Milwaukee's 3 quarter inch speed feed wood bits to test both models again. The Gen 2 model averaged 6.8 seconds per hole, followed by the Gen 3 averaging 6.3 seconds per hole. So again, it's a similar outcome. The Gen 3 was a half a second faster, just a 7% increase in performance this time around, and again, handled more smoothly than the Gen 2. But again, faster just by a little. So, experiencing a small increase in power and performance, we took both models to the Ohio Power Tools repair shop to visit Chris again, where he opened up both models to take a look at the differences in engineering and design. Here's what Chris found. Okay, we've got the Gen 2 2017 model on the left. I'll go ahead and pop the body off of it. And then our 2018 Gen 3 on the right. Just observing things inside that are different. Overall, they're trying to get smaller with these guns to make them more compact, which is completely understandable for the, the market that it's in. Um, you can see little subtle things like they French this rear bearing into this rotor on the Gen 3 which gives you a flat cap on the back. And then on the Gen 2, that bearing sticks out and you have a rounded cap. So that's just kind of an idea of how they've shaved some of the, the length down. The gear case is smaller. The actual motor housing is smaller. So with the Red Link technology, somehow they're squeezing more power out of these lithium batteries and the actual uh, PCB assembly where they can make these windings smaller and the gear case smaller. I mean, they've changed out the lay of the gear, the gearbox. This chuck is totally different. Uh, it has a different, you know, the aesthetics to it are different as far as it's smaller. See on there, there's little things like they've moved the, you can see the LED light on the Gen 2 is up here mm -hmm. by the work. They've moved Gen 3 down to where it's shining up to the work instead of directly forward. All right, so inside and out, the Gen 3 hammer drill gave us relatively small improvements in size, power, and performance in comparison to the previous Gen 2 model. So with both the Gen 2 and Gen 3 hammer drills being solid additions to any toolbox, it's really hard for us to recommend the Gen 3 over the Gen 2 just as a standalone tool. If you've already got the Gen 2, we don't see a massive upgrade in the Gen 3 like we did in the Milwaukee Impact drivers and other new M18 tools from the NPS 18 event. But, if you're able to upgrade both the impact driver and the hammer drill, say in a kit, along with a fast charger and some new batteries, then great. But as a standalone tool upgrade, you may want to wait for Gen 4 before leaving your Gen 2 behind. 
All right, thank you, Chris and Evan, for your expertise. That's going to do it for this inside look at the Milwaukee Gen 3 M18 fuel hammer drill. If you want to learn more about any of the tools or accessories that we've tested in today's video, we included links to each product in the description below. Subscribe now so you don't miss a thing from our channel, including our Power Tool Week in Review, which is every Friday. Don't forget to check out coptool.com for more Power Tool info and news. We'll see you next time.